Hey there everyone and welcome to the channel again like always it's me your host Amy from Penventure and uh, welcome to a very long long awaited personal collection update. In this update I want to share with you not one fountain pen but two of them and those are very very special one-of-kind fountain pens trust me and not only fountain pens but some other stuff so let's see what is up in this video. It is a beautiful day of March. It's still cold, but it tastes like spring. And uh, today I got a parcel uh, and it's a very long awaited parcel with a fountain pen and a few different things that I ordered, I believe five to six months ago. I cannot say anything else regarding this parcel other than the fact that it made my day and uh, I prepared also in this video another fountain pen which was in my personal collection but I haven't shared it with everyone because I wasn't sure how to put it out there because it's from a company but also it's not a regular model but also it's something experimental. I left it and uh, I thought that today in this video it's a great opportunity to share with you this project fountain pen and also the fountain pen that recently arrived and by recently I mean today in the morning of this day anyway let's start and see which is the project fountain pen first this is a uh, very very nice fountain pen which I have to say that I got in contact uh, first time with it uh, at the Leonardo factory. I've uh, told uh, Salvatore, my good friend and CEO of the company, that I'm trying to experiment with some fountain pens to design an exclusive fountain pen. And it was a demonstrator fountain pen, but um, we didn't have the clear material in the first place to start with such a fountain pen and we based uh, uh, the prototype fountain pen on, on a different material that was uh, available at that moment in the factory and I did dictate the overall shape of the fountain pen some uh, interesting things that I wanted to experiment and to see how the fountain pen would look in real uh, life in my hands I was stuck with a prototype which um, I'm going to showcase it in this video. So this is my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande made out of uh, clear frosted resin. It is based on the Momento Zero Grande, but it's a little bit longer and a little bit thicker than the liner model. It is equipped with the in-house made piston filling mechanism. And as a nib for this fountain pen, I wanted to see how it would look to have a size 8 gold nib. And actually, this is where things went a little bit south, to say so. And I asked Salvadore to glue the inner housing of the nib assembly. And this is where our small experiment failed and I want to try to zoom in a little bit and to show you that specific area and this is how it looks so it's a little bit messy and this is why I didn't want it to showcase this fountain pen but again being a fountain pen I couldn't just throw it away or uh, just give up and I ditched this experiment but I end up owning the fountain pen which is this uh, result of this experiment to say so and uh, sometimes ink gets here and remains stuck in between those threads i have to admit i rarely ink it up but when i do so i use it and uh, i get a lot of fun from using this fountain pen a project pen to say so but again a very nice way to find out if a um, specification for an exclusive pen works in a real life or not for me I will leave it as a experiment and all I want to say is that from this experiment I draw some conclusions I pointed out a few things that I liked about such a fountain pen and for sure you will have something and uh, it's a spoiler 
in the demonstrator realm of fountain pens from Leonardo coming from Pendenture. And this is all that I can say at this moment. Anyway, it's an extra fine nib and I really love to use this fountain pen. It has a lot of uh, use and I take it with me in my pocket, not caring too much about it because it is an experiment or an experimental fountain pen to say so. I intend to use it as much as possible and to actually get uh, some use uh, because this is paid by myself this prototype i will update the list down below if you scroll down of my collection lineup the entire collection of fountain pens that i own at this very moment and i will put down on the leonardo group this fountain pen as well and uh, it should be available for a video review if you are interested enough to see how it looks how it feels what are my thoughts if we can go deeper and deeper into this design and to explore uh, my ideas and what did i intended to make as an exclusive fountain pen from leonardo based on this uh, prototype let me know your opinion in the comment section down below and i will be quick to answer moving further i've got some things and uh, those are not too, uh, let's just say, uh, common. Because as many of you know, Tomoe River decided to discontinue their product, Tomoe River paper, which is my favorite paper that I love to use. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, they, I think, sold off the company or either the rights with the equipment to manufacture Tomo River paper. Anyway, the paper that's produced under the name Tomo River paper, the one that's uh, after this procedure, it is not the same with the old one. So I was at the Dutch pen show. I was meeting up with Catherine from Chakra Fountain Pen Gallery, and she had on the table a very nice Tomo River paper notebook, which I grabbed one, and I have it right here. This is very, very interesting in regards of a notebook. I love the paper. I love how it looks. I love this uh, sort of a cover. And this is a dotted version, 52 GSM and uh, plenty, plenty of paper to enjoy for a fountain pen nerd like me. Anyway, I knew that she had a few of them left. So as soon as I got home and tested out this one, I enjoyed that much that I got in contact with her and ordered a few of them. So I have them right here. They arrived and this is uh, my stash. And I ordered one in uh, A5, 368 pages, white color, 68 GSM to my river notebook and it is a blank version because uh, the lines and dots were not available anymore and three notebooks 52 gsm also plain or blank again 368 pages this is the last thicker page from tomo river which i do love and i cannot wait to have those secured um, and ready for my uh, journaling sessions when I'm getting done with this one. Although I have a few uh, notebooks in Tomo River paper from Hobonichi, I did uh, end up being stressed. And let me tell you why, because they are dated. I realized that dated pages are not for me because I cannot stick to a daily routine in regards of journaling. So I blame myself for not using dated pages and combined with an OCD uh, seeing that I have to write at a certain date, leaving some blank pages behind me. I said, okay, this is not for me. Now, last but not least, the grail pen the one that I've been waiting for so much time. And this is quite, quite an interesting fountain pen. It's right here in this white cardboard box. And uh, I have to say that I already opened the box and I removed the fountain pen and I put it everything back together in order to share it with you. 
but trust me the excitement is pretty much the same because uh, I've been drooling over this fountain pen and I know of its existence for at least a few years seeing this fountain pen being used and collected by different uh, partners in this industry like other reviewers and not only that it gave me so much envy and I really wanted to have such a fountain pen in my personal collection and uh, let's see let's see which is the fountain pen that resides inside this beautiful beautiful box it's an Akaya and I know that uh, some that are watching at this very moment are already aware of the fact because I couldn't keep my mouth shut. I've uh, said to a lot of people that this is something that I have in back order. I do believe that some of you are suspecting which fountain pen it's this parcel uh, about. And I have here another fountain pen from my collection. This is an Akai Dorsal Fin V1, which was reviewed and showcased on our channel. I'm gonna link the video up here. You can find out the story. I actually ordered this fountain pen from Shakura Fountain Pen Gallery expecting it to be an Akai Dorsal Fin V2, but I wasn't aware of uh, the fact that there are two versions, the Nakai Dorsal Fin 1, which has only one fin on the cap and no fin on the barrel. And inside here, I have my one and only Nakai Dorsal Fin V2. It is pretty much in a basic Nakai box. Here we have a converter, a few proprietary ink cartridges, blue black, and the fountain pen right here in this kimono. I'm gonna move everything aside because I want you to see this fountain pen and to not have it against a box with different shapes because it's very easy to identify the shape of this fountain pen. It's just like a katana sword. It is uh, having this curvature right here these two beautiful fins, which I know a lot of people think that these uh, two fins are made out of Furushi. I do believe that technically speaking, it's impossible to have so many overlapping layers of Furushi uh, until uh, these two fins are formed. Hate to burst your bubble, but I do believe this is handmade by a craftsman and not constructed from lacquer itself. As for a lacquer color, I went with Kurotame Nuri, which is actually black over red, and it's not Akatame Nuri, so it is not that visible, and actually the image of the color is very, very nicely uh, seen on the edges of this fountain pen. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit more so you can uh, see the actual finish and at a closer look you can pretty much see that we have this beautiful beautiful black which is just like a pond which is deep and the water is murky but where uh, the lake is uh, shallow uh, you can pretty much unveil the real color this beautiful red color which i simply adore and in regards to furushi nakaya does something very very impressive and i really really like where they are going with urushi let me showcase the nib because the nib is something also interesting because i talked with uh, catherine from shakura fountain pen gallery she actually made it possible for me to get this fountain pen and uh, catherine Thank you very much for your service and also for uh, not minding uh, my nagging, constant nagging. Uh, where is my pen? Where it is it right now? It is it ready? It's not, it's coming or not. And uh, she put up with my nagging uh, with a smile on her face. So I'm very, very grateful for that. In regards of a nib, let me showcase uh, what I have on this one. One of the most uh, impressive nibs that you can have on an Akaya, or at least this is what I think, it's a soft, elastic, medium point. What sets apart this nib is actually because it's soft and it also features these two cutouts on the nib that makes it a little bit more flexy. I have to admit, I didn't went, and this is ruthenium plate, something that I usually choose for my fountain pens that feature uh, black 
I want to have black colored trims. This is personal taste and I really love having a match up on the color of the trim versus the color of the fountain pen. This is personal. Why did I actually went for such a nib is because I tested out the fine point from the uh, Nakaya Dorsal Fin V1, the normal nib. It's a little bit stiff and uh, I don't mind it at all, but I want to have a medium because it also writes like a fine and the actual flexibility is not there for line variation primarily, but it is for smoothness because I tend to think the nib is just like a shock absorber. When it flexes, it also gives me the user the feeling that's a little bit more smooth so this is why i opted for a flex elastic nib from nakaya and uh, i cannot say that i wasn't uh, pleased with the performances it is a very nice nib and i also know that this nib came equipped on this fountain pen from nakaya we will have the possibility of exploring how this fountain pen is riding out of the box with a soft elastic medium nib from Nakaya and they personally tune each and every single pen so it should be interesting and I dare you to join me in a later video review for this fountain pen and let's explore together this wonderful nib. Till then I'm gonna use the fountain pen more and I will see how practical is this fountain pen in real life, how it is performing, what do I love about it and Talking about that, I have something for you. Take a quick look at this. So if I were to screw in the fountain pen in a different combination, the fins are not aligning. You have to be very, very precise with these threads and you need to choose a proper combination in order to align those two fins and have them uh, very much aligned like this. All of those aspects we will discuss in the video review coming very soon because right now I need to spend more time with this fountain pen and to enjoy it and to get a lot of use from it. So like this, I will have an overall opinion regarding what are the most interesting things that I would like to have uh, shared with everyone in a video review. Pretty much this is what I have for everyone on the channel. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. I am on a quest for adding more Urushi fountain pens to my personal fountain pen collection. Really, really appreciate your support. And if you find my content fun and useful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to reach out to many more just like you. Also, if you scroll down a little bit, I'm gonna put the website of Shakura Fountain Pen Gallery. If you're looking for an Akaya fountain pen, there is your best bet that you can find the fountain pen and also great services that come with this writing instruments offered by Catherine at Shakura Fountain Pen Gallery. Down, if you scroll, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, email, phone number, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with us. And most important, the list of fountain pens that I personally own at this very moment. Updated, I know that some of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed yet, so if you want to subscribe and support me, you can do that right now. Just click there and turn the notification bell on and if you want to see more quality content from Penvenger and Emmy myself, you have this video right here. Click and enjoy. Like always, it's me, Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.